Hi everyone, my name is Bhavesh and this is Secrets of MicroPython, where we learn different tips and tricks and hacks about how to use MicroPython in your projects. Today we're going to learn how to get real time, as in the clock time or the calendar time, in your projects. So say you have something like an ESP32 or any other Wi-Fi enabled MicroPython device, how do you tell it what is the time? And before I show you how to do that, let's just quickly figure out like why is that useful? Why do you need why does the microcontroller ever need to know the time? And one of the main things I can think of is kind of like an alarm or calendar functionality. So for example, if you want to do something like, like in my case, I have this lamp over here that's powered by MicroPython. If I want it to automatically start fading down the lights at, at bedtime or switch on the lights in the morning, uh, it needs to know what the time is so I can tell it to do that at say seven o'clock every day or 11 p.m. every night. And uh, that's one of the main uses of knowing the time. But how is it going to know the time? So usually in a lot of projects you'll see online, they use a hardware module called the real time clock to, to keep sync of the time, even when the microcontroller is unplugged or switched off. But I want to do it without buying any external hardware, right? And we can actually do that. We can do that by pulling time from the network using the network time protocol. Now that all sounds very complicated, but basically there is a library that does it for you, luckily. So it's actually very simple and it's more or less a couple of lines of MicroPython code. And what these lines of MicroPython code do is they grab the current time from a time source, such as an NTP pool website, and they update it on your microcontroller. So as long as you run this right, right as soon as your app starts up, or maybe you can run it once every few hours, if you want to keep the time super accurate, the time on your microcontroller is going to be accurate and you can run your alarm that calendar functionality. So without any further ado, let's get into it. I'm just going to do this over web REPL and show you how to do it. So I've connected to my microcontroller, my ESP32 over web REPL. And let me even zoom that in a bit more, whoops, a bit much. And we are going to import a module called NTP time. And that is actually built into the ESP32. So you're going to do that. Uh, before that, let me show you what, what it thinks the time is right now, right? So if you do like a time.time, dot time, uh, that just shows you the amount of time that has been elapsed in seconds since you switched on your microcontroller. If you do time dot local time, ah, it thinks it's the year 2000, 1st of January. Happy New Year, Y2K. Okay, so that's obviously not the correct time. Um, the time right now is according to my clock up here. April the 3rd, 2022, 7.12 p.m. where I am. And so what we need to do is we need to do a very simple command called NTP time dot set time. And that was it. It just pulled time from an NTP server. So now if you do a time dot local time, cool. So you see the year is 2022. It's April the 3rd, but it says it's 11.12 p.m. Whereas I, it's actually 7, 12 p.m. if you look up there. So this is just the fun topic of time zones. You know how great time zones are. Um, so we just need to add an offset to that. And there's a very simple command for that too. So we need to first define our offset. So I'm going to say my UTC offset. So I'm in Toronto, which right now is four hours behind UTC. You, sometimes it's five hours behind. That's another whole topic for another day. but. I'm just going to say minus four hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So I'm offset by that many seconds from the time that comes in from the NTP server. Okay. And if you want, we can print that out to see the horrendous number that it is. Oh, it's a minus 14, 400. Okay. And if you want to print out our time adjusted with that, what we need to do is just do a time dot local time. And then do time dot time plus UTC offset. So if you provided a parameter, it actually represents it correctly with the offset and everything. And if you do that, surely enough, it's actually 713 and it is 713 as you can see up there. And even the, the number of seconds was pretty well synchronized at the time I ran the command. So that's pretty awesome. There you go. There you have it. If you want real time functionality, if you want to know the real time in your projects, just do an NTP time dot set time to synchronize with the internet clock. And then if you do time local time, you get your UTC time or your GMT, you know, the London time, the Queens time. 
and then if you add your offset in there you get time in your local time zone i hope that was really helpful to you and uh, before i go please do subscribe to this channel or subscribe on my website bhave.sh where i teach written article versions of my tutorials that i do over here so if you prefer written you can go there if you prefer video you can subscribe here your choice it helps me reach out to more nerds like you and to teach free secrets of MicroPython so you can use them in your projects. And it also helps you because I've always taken your feedback and your advice into what kind of projects to teach and what kind of hardware to teach on so I can best serve you and your needs for your MicroPython projects. Uh, I'm really happy you watched this video. Thank you so much. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.